We saw in the last video that we could use a box plot to help us judge the shape of a distribution. So let's recap all of that. So we have positively skewed distributions, which are skewed right. That's the way to write them. So skewed right or positively skewed. They have a longer whisker here on the right or here on the top. Or they'll have a longer box half. Usually the whisker is kind of the dominant thing. So if the whisker is significantly longer, that's usually a sign. Um, but sometimes the box also is larger. It's not the case in this example, but it could be, right? So the upper half of the box would be over here. So this is the upper half or this one. So you would look to those values. If that upper half of the box is bigger than the lower half of the box, it could be a sign that it's skewed right. All right, then what about symmetric? Well, if the whiskers are approximately equal, so look at your whiskers. If they're approximately equal, right, the left side and the right side are mostly the same, or the boxes are mostly the same-ish, right? This isn't a, this isn't a perfect um, thing. It's not, you know, it's, it's, is this part and this part are they equal? Right? That's what you're looking at. So you're comparing these two boxes right here. Are they equal or not? Right? If they look mostly equal, then it's symmetric. So let me, let me make a note. So this would be mostly equal, and these two would be mostly equal. Right? Same with the other one. The other one's just the same graph, just vertically. Um, if it's skewed right, one or the other of these will be longer. So longer on the right or the positive side, right? The high side on the right. Particularly the whisker. The whisker is kind of the more dominant of the two. But not always. All right. If it's skewed left, then that's going to mean it's negatively skewed. So some books talk about skewed left, some books talk about negatively skewed. They mean the same thing. It means that you have a longer whisker on the low side, right? And it could be vertically or it could be horizontally, they, the same thing. Or you could have a longer whisker on, or a longer box on that side. So this one up here, it's the whiskers you look at and the, or the boxes. This one is the whiskers of the boxes. Hopefully they'll match. <laughs> Hopefully. So you're looking at the whisker and you're looking at the box. Okay. And they'll be longer or larger on this side. So longer on the left, which we learn in math class is the negative side. So negative side because it's a number line, right? So left is negative, right is positive. Same thing over here, right? This is longer on the negative side. This is low, right? Longer on the low side. This is that they're basically equal. Right? It doesn't really change it if it's up and down. It just makes it up and down. And this one's longer on the high side. There we go. So high side, right side, positive side, right? This is that basically everything's equal. And this one's longer on the low side, the negative side, left side, whichever way you want to think about it. Okay. Now, I mentioned it before, kind of in passing. What if they don't agree? <laughs> So you can kind of see that up here. If you look at the boxes, it looks pretty symmetric, right? These boxes are basically equal. Ah, but the whisker, the whisker is much longer. So basically, it's kind of a judgment call that you get to make. <laughs> Congratulations. You get to make a judgment call based on the most drastic difference. But I will say, usually, it's the whisker that wins out. Not always, but most of the time, the whisker is going to be more drastic, more dramatic. You'll really see it, which is what's happening up here. That whisker is way longer than that whisker, and that's winning out over the fact that the boxes are equal. Right? If the boxes say symmetric, but the whiskers say skewed, that's skewed. Right? The whisker wins. And 
I'm saying basically most of the time the whisker wins. <laughs> so that's what I'm mentioning here. Right? Usually the whisker wins. Right? So most of the time what the whiskers are is what it is. Almost always. Look to the whiskers. The whiskers will tell you where it's skewed. Now, part of that, and a very important part that a lot of students forget, is that the outlier dots are part of the whisker. Those dots count. So, for example, if you have um, a data set that has short, right, so doo -doo -doo, I'm just going to make it up here. So you're thinking, oh, it's going to be skew left. That box on that left side is bigger. And then I do this, and then I make dot, 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 dot. I don't know why I gave it a lot of outliers. <laughs> it doesn't need that many. But this is skewed right. That is the whisker. The whisker goes this whole way. So even though the box is a little bit bigger on the left, that whisker is way drama more dramatic. So this is skewed right. Not because of that little bitty whisker there, but because the whisker is actually all the way to the end of the dots. Right? Skewed right. Because the whisker with dots is longer on the right. The whisker wins, and the dots are part of the whisker. Never forget. Draw that picture. I know it's not the best picture. Try to make it a little bit bigger on the left for the box, but lots of dots over here on the right. If you didn't have the dots, you'd say symmetric, but you do have the dots, and that means it's skewed right. Now let's recap everything we've learned into a lovely, lovely table that will be very important for us. <laughs> so the shapes. Okay, so let's start with skewed left. This is what a skewed left graph looks like, if you were going to do like a histogram. As a box plot, it'll have a longer whisker on the left or a longer box on the left or both. Or it could have dot, 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 whisker, box, dot, but that still counts. Okay. Then if that's the case, what does that mean? Well, that means that the mean was less than the median. Right? The mean is a smaller number. The symbol for that is that. So you'd say the mean um, which the symbol for the mean is mu, is less than the median. But if you don't like that here, we can just write mean. It's fine. The other symbol for mean is x bar. So. All right, now we learned in section 3.1, when it's skewed like this, the mean gets pulled to the tail. Right? If the mean's getting pulled to the tail, it's not a good measure of center. Right? Central tendency, average. Right? Center is central tendency, right, which is average. It's all the same thing, okay? So the better measure of center, the better measure of average is the median because it's resistant. It resists the pull of those outliers. And to skewing. Right, to skewing and outliers, I should say. Skewing and outliers. Now, what about spread? Spread is dispersion, right? So variability, dispersion, that's what spread is. Well, we just learned in this section, there's a good measure of spread that's resistant to outliers and skewing, and it's IQR the interquartile range. It's resistant to skewing and outliers, just like the median is. So if a data set is skewed, you will take the median and the IQR. So if it's skewed left, if I look down here, if it's skewed left, I would take the median and the interquartile range, IQR. 
And while I'm at it, I would do the same thing if it was skewed right. So let's go look at that one, which is over here. <laughs> so if it's skewed right, it's exactly the same. Skewed right has a tail to the right, so it's going to have kind of a bigger box on the right or a bigger whisker on the right, or sometimes both. Don't forget that dots count, right? And then that would mean that the mean is more than the median. The way that we write that in math is we say the mean is greater than the median. Alligator eats the mean because it's bigger, right? The mean's getting pulled to the high side because of the skewing. So again, the median is the better measure of center because it's resistant. See what I wrote on the left, <laughs> right? To skewing and outliers. And also, by the same token, the IQR is the better measure of spread, again, because it's resistant to skewing. It's, it's like an anchor. It stays pretty stable, even with outliers and skewing. Now, I say all of that, but I will say we hit a point in this course that we almost never use the median and the IQR. So what does that mean? Well, after chapter seven, pretty much every data set we work with is going to be symmetric. I'm just debating about my color here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll use green. Symmetric. Oh, I'm going to use a darker green. Sorry. Okay, so from chapter seven on, we work with symmetric graphs that look like this one. Now, in a box and whisker plot, that'll mean that the left and the right are more or less equal. You can have dots, but what will happen is you'll have dots on both sides. And so it ends up kind of working out, right? Might not be the same amount, but, you know, it'll be close, things like that. All right, so that means that the mean is basically the same as the median. That's a symbol for approximately. It means they're not exactly the same, but they'll be real close. Right, so they're approximately the same. If that's the case, we will use the mean. And boy, will we. Once chapter 7 hits, we'll use the mean all the time. Right, and then we'll use the standard deviation. Now, just a reminder, the mean symbol, which we learned way back, is mu if it's a population, and x bar if it's a sample mean. Just a reminder of the notation. Standard deviation is sigma if it's a population mean, or population standard deviation, sorry, and s if it's a sample standard deviation. And boy howdy will we be using these values all over the place in chapters 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll be using these. So if your data set's symmetric, you're going to use the mean and the standard deviation, which we will chapter 7 onward. But also, don't forget that when the instructions in the notes or the worksheets say to describe the distribution, what you're looking for is shape, center, spread. What's the shape? Is it symmetric, skewed left, skewed right? What's the center? What's the spread? 